Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to draw donut charts. I'm sure everyone know um, the shape of the donut and the taste of the donut, right? So we will see uh, how we visualize our data in the shape of donut, okay? So donuts can be, uh, sorry, donut chart can be uh, visualized in two different uh, types. One is single layer, other one is double layer donut chart. And you could do even like a three layer donut chart as well, okay? Uh, or you could consider single layer and multi-level, multi-layer. For single layer, I have already selected uh, um, some data with the mobile device and unit sold in the year of 2020, okay? So for that, um, we want to visualize this. Select the data insert and you see the pie chart here so you could directly insert pie or donut and then insert the donut chart okay so now you get the donut here so uh, with the different colors and all we could do some manipulations for this so for that select this double click when you double click you would be able to see um, your format data series okay in this you could see donut hole size, you know. So if you think this is a little bit bigger, you could reduce the donut size, whatever the size that you want. If you completely reduce a set, it would become a pie chart. Okay, so, you know, this would be appropriate donut uh, uh, size. And uh, you could see the angle of the first slice, okay, how you want to see this. Basically, it would tilt or rotate your chart so that whatever the angle that you want to put you could uh, face that way um, i would like to see all the smaller values here so i'm just um, using this angle so that i could see all the smaller values in a uh, straight view okay and donut exp well, explosion is something that you can divide those segments, okay? And if you want, you know, so, I mean, dividing too much is bad here, but again, if you want to be like a little bit, how much is a segment that you want to see, you know, so this could be uh, an enough thing that you want to put it. And now what you need to do is you want to right click here because we want to insert some data labels, right? So for that, you could do, plus as soon as you select the graph you would get plus here and then insert data labels so now you get uh, all this in numbers and if you want to represent that in percentages you could uh, right click on the chart which would be format data series uh, format data labels format data labels um, Yes, format data labels. S select the percentage and uh, uncheck the remaining values there. So now you get percentages here. So which would be able to give you the percentage. And if you don't want to have that uh, explosion, you could remove that and that would be a, a nice donut chart as well. Okay. So if you want to check the percentage, you could do calculation, calculate the percentage, whether that is correct or not. So basically you would be doing the summation and then percentage of this would be divided by the total. Okay, so select the percentage, you get 19%. Samsung, Samsung is blue color here, which is 19%, right? So what you could do is you could put this one. Now you get an error here. What, what, what's the error is basically, if you notice, it's a B3 divided by B9. B9 is we don't have anything here. So we have to fix our B8. For that, what, we, what you need to do is you have to use dollar symbols in order to fix your cell value, okay? Dollar B and dollar 8. That way you would be able to fix the value. And if you select this automatically, we should be able to get it. And if you want to check with the LG, which is 5%, yellow color 5% is LG. So now we got that in a um, nice percentages wise. And if you don't want this as a um, donut chart, 
you could always go under format data point and you could see uh, the do uh, reduce the donut's whole size which would be able to get your pie chart okay in the double layer donut or multi layer donut let's say you have uh, different companies and their uh, quarter 1 first quarter second quarter third quarter um, revenue growth okay so quarter 2 revenue growth um, you want to compare this one um, by using two different layers and if you want you could have uh, multiple or uh, three or more okay so for that select this and if you notice in the insert in the pie chart you would be seeing donut itself but when you actually insert you would get a double layer donut okay so now select your chart and able to reduce the donut size whole little bit now this looks good and regarding the angles of a donut it's up to you however you want to show okay so now here the data of the inner layer represents the first column that you are going to see for q1 whereas outer layer would represents the q2 and if you have a third layer that would represents a q3 i mean the quarter three okay or third quarter data so again you could always include your uh, data labels with percentages and uh, if you want you could uh, in, i mean you have to include the chart name appropriately a comparison of growth rates uh, revenue growth rate of uh, first quarter and second quarter uh, you know of these companies so this way you could be able to see how to do a single layer donut chart double layer as well as multi-layer donut charts in the same way okay so usually donut charts would be able to represent with uh, uh, percentage values and uh, even with a single single value here for example you are representing a single value um, for quarter one and a single value for quarter two also you use this for comparison of the data as well okay so by using two layers here you could see um yeah with this we are done with um, um, how to draw donut charts in excel thank you for watching